Oh, Cam McLeish here. We're working on a 1994 Chevy 1500 four wheel drive. We're going to be doing the rear brake cylinder on the driver's side. Let's have a look. So, once you actually take off the drum, you're going to want to take off this bottom spring right here. Once you get that off, you're going to want to take off these springs, these holder springs on both sides here. Once you take that off, then you can actually take this out. Like so. So then, on the back side, there's your brake cylinder. On your back side, you got your brake line right there. You got your bleeder screw right there. And then the two bolts that hold the brake cylinder on. So you're going to use a... Three eighths wrench. I got a brake line wrench. It usually helps out. Grabs on a lot better for the brake line and the brake bleeder screw. And then you're going to use a ten millimeter socket to get the two bolts off. So, I personally removed the bleeder screw first before removing the brake line. Once you get the brake line removed, then you can start to remove the cylinder bolts. There's only two of them. Once you get the two bolts out then you can remove the cylinder that's what the cylinder looks like so that's another K McLeish Productions please like subscribe and comment thanks